Hello, hey guys. Uh, in this session, let's see what exactly the difference between the ADLS and the blob. So what exactly those are? ADLS and blob are the services which we can see in the Azure. Uh, basically both provides a cloud-based file system platform. So what exactly the cloud-based file system? So uh, the cloud-based file system is nothing but like uh, if any project uh, who are in Azure, if they want to store any of their objects, they need a platform uh, which which can be like uh, if they want to store a videos or thumbnails or any file. So they want one platform, which is nothing but a cloud based file system is one service which you will get in the Azure to store your objects. So uh, ADLS and the blob are those services which you will get in the Azure. So what exactly ADLS stands for? So ADLS stands for Azure Data Lake Storage and the blob stands for binary large object so you can create both of them in the storage account uh, let's see what exactly the features of the each of them so uh, there are two ADLS you can see in the Azure the ADLS Gen 1 and ADLS Gen 2 so let's see what exactly the ADLS Gen 1 so ADLS Gen 1 is mainly as a Hadoop file system which is compatible to HDFS and the Hive purpose for data analytics, uh, if we, if it is under uh, Hadoop, like you can use ADLS Gen 1. And it also provides additional features like you can control the file level object access. So if you don't want uh, certain objects to be accessed by certain user, you can restrict the users by uh, creating, uh, uh, creating a role or policy uh, to restrict uh, the user access for those objects. And the blob, blob comes with other features, like uh, it, it provides the different tiers, like premium, hot, cold, and okay, what exactly these are. So like uh, when it comes to the uh, premium, so if you're accessing the data more frequent, so you need the low latency one. So for that, you can select the low latency kind of. If you have, you're accessing the file system, which is lit, which uh, little latency is okay, then you can select the hot one. And the cold is something like which you access only once in a month kind of thing, then you can select the cold. So archive is kind of like a, for the backup. So if you're storing any backup uh, for the entire project, you can store, you can select the archive and the cost varies depends on the which type you select. The premium will be the costliest, archive will be the slow, uh, archive will be the cheapest. And uh, blo uh, and blob comes with a high availability and disaster recover, di disaster recovery. And it, uh, it offers, uh, it, it is a best solution for the uh, unstructured data in a cost efficient way so uh in the latest like they have designed like adls gen 2 which is nothing but which comes with the features of both adls gen 1 and the gen 2 so uh but still there are some differences between the gen adls gen 2 and the blob let's see what exactly the similarities between them and i'll come back to the uh let's uh, see the differences later so in terms of the similarity like uh, both can store structure semi-structure and unstructured type of data and as you see, the blob provides uh, different types of tiers. Now ADLS Gen 2 provides the same. And the, similarly, uh, it supports high volume of data in size and it is designed for uh, high availability and disaster recovery. And what are the differences? So uh, the ADLS Gen 2 is basically designed for the big data analytics. And uh, if you want uh, a data lake to be built on, you can select the ADLS Gen 2 uh, as your cloud-based file system. Uh, if you if you don't have anything like a data lake kind of system, you can select the regular blob, which is designed basically for the general purpose to, uh, storage. ADLS Gen 2 provides a hierarchical base file system. So like how you can create a multiple folder, subfolders in your uh, regular lab, in your uh, Windows machine, the similarly you can do that. The blob is kind of like flat storage, but however you can uh, create something like virtual hierarchical based, but Physically, it will be in a flat based storage. And again, in terms of the security, like as the ADLS Gen 1 comes with the file level security feature and the ADLS Gen 2 also will come the same, but Blob doesn't give that. It provides a resource level security. You cannot control individual file level security, but you can uh, control like uh, if you have multiple blobs, uh, you can control uh, the access in the user level, not the file level. And as it comes with the feature, the cost is also little, uh, cost, cost is also more uh, for ADLS Gen 2 compared to the blob. Let's see what exactly the use case where exactly you can use both of this. So ADLS 
uh, Gen 2 again, like you can use for big data frameworks, as I said, like for Hive or Spark or any other uh, uh, any other pipeline kind of stack if you want to use for data lake purpose. And it has basically designed for lake house uh, kind of uh, methodology. And you can also use this for the streaming or the batch processing analytics. For the blob, like you can use for like writing your log files and it is uh, best for like staging area or landing area and the streaming platforms like uh, Netflix kind of platform or like if you have anything like videos and audios uh, in your cloud-based field system, you can use this blob. And it is also like uh, best for like storing the backup data on the disaster recovery. Uh, if you have only that, only uh, back, if you want a cloud-based field system only for the backup, so you can use Blob, which is little cheap. Of course, you can use ADLS as well, but like Blob comes with a little cheaper if you have only the purpose of the backing of the data. That's all I want to discuss in this video. Thank you.